Now, one of the places where we'll hear a lot of uh, you know, a lot of stories of authority is, um, hey, I'm the man in this relationship. I read the Bible, read Ephesians five, and it says that uh, women are supposed to submit their husbands. So submit, woman. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> submit, woman. Read it. Why doesn't that work, G? <laughs> um, well, there's two reasons that it doesn't work, and men only focus on the first reason. First reason is you have a woman who's not uh, putting scripture as the authority in their life. Um, and the second part is you have the expectation that a woman would do that even you, even if you're not worthy of mm-hmm. respect, right? And respect, is, again, authority is a lag measure of the quality of your leadership. There you go. And so men have poor leadership. Poor, They can't even lead themselves. So why would a woman want to follow you if you can't even lead yourself? Right. And so that that's where what men are having ex, uh, an unfair expectation of their wife. And they're saying, well, I don't, I'm not living by the authority. You know, I, I understand that scripture would make me your authority, so I like it. I'm not submitted to scripture, but you need to submit to it, so you'll submit to me. Yeah. And ask yourself the question, what does your wife value? Right? We said your authority will grow based on what, what you value. Well, what does your wife value? If your, va- if your wife values consistency, if she values, if, if her love language is quality time, and you're never around, you show up like a different person every day depending on your emotional state that day, maybe that's Here, why you're not... I don't have the expectation of my wife that she would trust me as much as she trusts God. Right. Good. Which is an unfair... That would be an unfair expectation of my wife because I'm not as trustworthy as God is. Yeah. I am, I'm a trustworthy husband, but I'm not as trustworthy as God is. You are a Lord, but you're not the Lord. <laughs> <Boom>. Exactly. <laughs> Print that. Right? And so you, you're, when, when you put that on your wife, that's what you're saying. Like, you yeah. need to trust me as much as you trust God. And that's not, a, that's not a right expectation. No. What I say to my wife is, right, like, there are times where I need you to trust me, but also I'm proving myself to you. Yeah. Right? And if, if your wife doesn't trust you, you know what? Maybe you're not being very trustworthy. Yeah. Maybe you need to work on the qual- your quality of leadership, and it'll make it easier. I'm not saying that any of us could ever be perfect. Right. Right. I've made mistakes before, but the the best compliment my wife has ever given me is you make it easy to follow you. Yeah. Right. That's a re- that's a reflection of the quality of my leadership. Yeah. Right. And so where I I ask Lindsay to do difficult things sometimes. I ask Lindsay to put up with difficult situations sometimes. And I look at like my leadership, it's like I look at most things in my life as a bank account. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I got to make some big deposits. And to do that, I have to have made many, many withdrawals. Right. I mean, sorry. Yeah, other ways. Other way around. I make a big withdrawal and I have to have made many, many deposits to be able to do that. You You can't rack up credit in a relationship. It doesn't work. Yeah. 